Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shahzad Habib and I am a student of Arid Agriculture University Rawalpindi from Department of Horticulture. My Arid number is 17 Arid 3230. My supervisor is Dr. Tanvir Hussain, who is the course in charge of summer vegetables and the course code is 504. Today the practical video will be on different irrigation methods of vegetable crops and their usages. A number of different types of irrigation system have been adopted for use in vegetable crops. Number one is hand-moved sprinklers. This is the least expensive overhead irrigation system. The labor cost to move the literal through the field is relatively high. Water distribution is very uniform. Although tall crops are not easily irrigated, sprinkler irrigation may also be used for frost protection. Number second is traveling gun system. These systems are relatively expensive. Labor cost is reduced compared to hand-moved sprinklers. They are well suited to irrigating large fields and tall crops. Uniformity of water distribution is greatly affected by wind conditions. Number 3. Central Pivot and Lateral System These are self-propelled systems located to move through and irrigate large fields from a centrally located well or pump. These systems are expensive. Labor costs through the season are low. They are adopted for use in large level fields. Number four, the drip or trickle irrigation. Drip irrigation is basically consists a system consists of a series of drip lines, plastic tubing with built-in emitters laid along the crop row. Crop yields are comparable or slightly higher than with overhead irrigation. If fertilizer injection is combined with a drip inje injection, great yield increases are possible. A drip irrigation system consists of a filtration system, flow meter, pressure regulator, main line, header lines, and lateral lines with built in emitters, drip tubing, or tape. A fertilizer injector is also required for fertigation. Thank you for watching.